build our own rover. I'd like to show you how to make your very own toothbrush bot. You're going to need a pager motor, either a one volt to a three volt motor, just like this. We got ours at an electronic store. Now, if you don't have a pager motor, you can always remove one from, say, a broken electronic device. Now, you're also gonna need a one button cell battery, one volt to three volt, you wanna match the pager motor. Then you're gonna need a toothbrush with angled bristles. Now, if you don't have a toothbrush with angled bristles, all you have to do is put a heavy book or just kind of just bend the toothbrush down. It's going to make the bristles angle backwards. Now, you'll need some pliers, maybe even some wire cutters, uh, and you're also going to need something to make it all stick together. Rubber band, mounting tape, double stick tape, anything. You can get creative. But the science rule number one, you guys, is that you always have to ask permission when you're doing a science experiment. First, we're going to cut off the toothbrush head. Now, you're just gonna snip the head just a little bit. You wanna leave a little bit of an end. It's pretty simple. There you go, see? Not hard at all. Now we're gonna fasten or attach the motor really firmly to the top of the toothbrush head. Now, I have to say that what I really liked best were these mounting squares, mainly because they're sort of, sort of already cut in half for you. Now, you wanna put your vibrating um, motor right there at the this end of the toothbrush where we cut it off at. Make sure it's secure there with the mounting tape. Next, what we wanna do is we need to connect this wire. Once we really have our pager motor set where we think we wanna have it set, let's take, what I did for example, is I took the black wire and the head and I just press it gently onto that mounting tape. Now we're gonna create some connectivity here with this red wire, see right there? And then we're gonna put our piece of tape right there on top of it, making sure that's secure. And then look what we're gonna do. We're gonna place that down on top. Oh, our, oh, I feel like my rover's ready to go. Now what's happening here is the vibration motor provides movement in all directions, and this is transferred to the bristles of the brush. Now because some of these vibrations cause the toothbrush head to kind of bounce up and down, and the bristles of the brush are angled, the toothbrush bot actually moves forward or in circles, and this type of motor can be attached to all kinds of objects, which will cause them to vibrate and move about. And all the instructions can be found on Janet'sPlanet.org. Thank <laughs> you.